If you like your espresso in the morning without a lot of fuss, you'll like this machine. DeLonghi has updated its super popular Nespresso Essenza Mini with a new design. I reviewed the original a few years ago and it's been my go-to machine ever since. So what's new with the new version? I'll tell you about my experience with it, what it can do, how it works, and the pros and cons after having it in my home here for two weeks. By all accounts, this appears to be exactly the same machine as the previous version. The only thing that's been updated is a little bit of a slicker design. With a shiny piano finish and a flat top now, the machine appears much more compact and a little more elegant. I chose the Ascenza Mini because it's small and unobtrusive and because it offers two different sizes of espresso. I don't add any milk to my espresso at all, so all I wanted was something fast and easy just for those straight up double espressos. The setup for this machine is virtually non-existent. Just plug it in and power it on. It's ready to go immediately. The kit I bought also included a sample pack of Nespresso capsules, which was a nice way to try some new roasts. When it comes to the specs, this machine gives you 19 bars of pressure from its pump and has a 20 ounce water tank. It is super small and weighs almost nothing at just about five pounds. We could get into a whole thing here about the environmental impact of pods. For the most part, neither aluminum Nespresso pods nor those plastic Keurig K-Cups are recyclable in a lot of cities recycling programs. They're just too small. But I will say this about Nespresso. They encourage you to recycle the aluminum pods by including a prepaid return bag with your order. When it comes to the coffee and their taste, there's lots to enjoy. I find these coffees packaged in their little metal cups to be fresh, and with this stunning number of different roasts, tastes, flavors, and options, you're bound to find something you like. Bottom line here, I think the coffee is good. Let's talk about what it costs to brew your morning espresso. Nespresso pods can be had on the Nespresso website for about 70 cents to $1.25 per pod, compared to the cost of a coffee shop espresso, that's a bargain. Depending on what kind of espresso beans you might be buying now that may or may not be cost effective. I have also, by the way, seen special reusable Nespresso capsules that you can fill with your own coffee too. Either way, I'm perfectly happy about paying about a buck for my morning espresso. Brewing a coffee is as simple as turning it on and waiting for it to heat up, which takes less than 30 seconds, and I'm impressed by how fast this is. Then you'll pop in a capsule, close the lid, and choose your size. My single shot brews in about 30 seconds, and a longer double shot in about 45. One of the things I like about the Ascenza Mini is that the espresso comes out nice and thick and not watery. It ends up with a nice crema on top, and it's actually hot, definitely hot enough for me. Now, while you can't adjust the water temperature, it comes from the factory set to about 83 to 86 degrees according to Nespresso. Nespresso says this is supposed to be a hot but drinkable temperature so you can have it right away and recommends if you feel it's cool to preheat your cup. Some folks might not appreciate that you can't adjust the water temperature but I was definitely okay with the factory setting. The DeLonghi Essenza Mini has some handy features. An energy saver feature will shut it off in nine minutes if it's not used again and you can now set that to wait up to 30 minutes if you prefer. The 20 ounce water tank holds enough for about 20 singles or 10 double shots before it needs to be refilled. You can use the cup riser or remove it to brew a bigger cup. And there's a small pod bin that holds about four or five discarded pods. All the removable pieces are dishwasher safe. I've tried some Nespresso machines that make a really loud, annoying, almost buzzing sound, but this machine, like the original Essenza version, is super quiet. There's a low sound, but I definitely don't need to worry about waking anyone in the house up when I make my morning espresso. Overall, the newly redesigned DeLonghi Nespresso Essenza Mini is exactly the same as the older version. Same specs, same results, just with a refreshed new look. I've made almost a dozen videos about Nespresso machines of all kinds, and this has and continues to be my favorite Nespresso espresso maker. It's super small and takes up hardly any space in the kitchen. The coffee is delicious, hot, and thick with a beautiful crema, and I love I can adjust the sizes so it's perfect for me. The water tank is plenty big enough, so I don't feel like I'm refilling it constantly. For those who do want a bigger tank, there are larger machines out there and with more features. If there are any downsides to this machine, for some it might be that you can't adjust the water temperature, but for me this wasn't an issue. Others are going to point to the environmental impact of those aluminum pods. 
Overall, I am in love with this machine. It's been an awesome addition to my coffee routine and I can definitely recommend it for you. The new DeLonghi Nespresso Ascenza Mini sells for about $179 US and you can get yours as I got mine through Amazon. You can of course also check out a Nespresso machine that does a lot more including let you make milk based espresso drinks or see what the difference is between Nespresso Original and its Virtuo line right now.